Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast online radio and TV network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton. Joining me, as usual, is Martin Patella, Life Enthusiast health coach. Happy New Year, Martin. I'm all excited about 2020. It's about to start. 2020, perfect vision. Let's yeah. see if our vision of the future will fulfill itself this time. Yeah, <laughs> That's well, I think most people are probably laying on their couch going, oh, I can't believe I ate all that. I can't believe I drank all that. Because this is definitely the party time where there's overindulgence in just about every aspect of our lives. It seems that in the Northern Hemisphere, or oh, maybe it's worldwide, but certainly the winter, when we are shut in indoors, we just tend to sit around and... and uh, eat snacks and overindulge and uh, many people just do a little too much of socializing and a little too much of alcohol and a little too much of foods that put in too many calories in and all that right yeah and then there's uh, lots of stress because uh, anything that you've been covering over for the last year in terms of your family may come out when uh, everyone's had a little bit too much to drink Inhibitions go down, this, the office party occurs, which same thing. And, uh, and then you've got to go, 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 go. You don't get enough rest. And you're not putting good food into your body sometimes. So it's a recipe for disaster. Right. And then so the 1st of January is upon us and 95% of us make New Year resolutions, all of which include I'll do better this year. I will be slimmer, stronger, more exercised, and uh, more muscled, right? That's absolutely. And then by the third week in January, the gyms are all empty again. Okay. Well, so let's, let's just break it down. I, you know, as a coach, I really believe in basics. Um, there was this wonderful... A basketball coach, John Wooden, he took, I think it was LA Lakers, to uh, to the championship eight times in a row. And he said, you have to know the basics. You need to do the layups and the jump shots and all of that. And just do it and do it and do it. Focus on the basics. Never mind the fancy stuff. Well, in health, it's you need to focus not on majoring in the minor things, but in the major things. And the major things are the basic nutrients, water, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, iodine, the real basics, those that build the resilience of your immune system. So I'd like to talk about those. How about we tell our listeners about, number one, water. What we need is better hydration, not just irrigation. And there is a difference in the clustering and the surface tension and the pH of the water. When you drink the ordinary tap water or the ordinary filtered water that has not been energetically enhanced, it goes through you, but it doesn't get inside your cells. The water that can, gets inside your cells has to be energetically appropriate. And the industrial processed water that has flown through, flown through miles of pipes is not going to hydrate as well as the one that we can prepare for you using the treatments. Yeah, when you think about it, we came from places that had streams and the water would go over rocks and everything else. And uh, if you go out into the mountains and you happen to find a pristine stream and you drink some of that water, it's very different than the water that you get through the taps or the water that you get, uh, you know, in the plastic bottles that they're pushing on us so much these days. Yeah, indeed. So um, there are great many testimonials that we have collected over the years from people who have been drinking the water that has been treated with the pearls and the pearls and all of that gadgetry that we sell. It's simple, it's inexpensive, like the cost of it is ridiculously low, like $10 a year. Get it. 
drink water that's been treated energetically. So we've hydrated ourselves, Martin, and uh, next on the list is we need to get some oxygen into our uh, cells. So right. uh, how do we do that? Well, one of the quicker ways is to uh, discover the aerobic stabilized oxygen. These are simple drops that you can add to the water that we just talked about. And even if you find yourself out there in the wilderness, these oxygen drops will uh, disable microbes. Like you could run into a stream that may have Giardia in it, it will eliminate the infection inside of you or before you drink it. But anyway, just adding these drops to your water, you will feel more energetic, more energized, and uh, healthier because these, these drops will neutralize the unfriendly bacteria and support the friendly ones. So it's called stabilized oxygen, aerobic stabilized oxygen, simple and effective. Add it to your water, you'll feel more energized, I promise. All right, so we've talked about uh, water. We've talked about adding this uh, oxygen to our water. What about hydrogen? How does that help us? Hydrogen is a surprising, not well understood or not talked about supplement. But what it does is hydrogen is the most simple of elements. At the, the first one in the uh, table of elements. And so what we do here is it's very willing to give electrons. So it's the most basic thing that helps with uh, oxidation and reduction, the transactions in your body. So when we add hydrogen to the, to the water, and we have this product, it's called H2 Elite. These are simple tablets. You throw the tablet into a pint of water, wait five minutes and drink it. It has just dissolved itself and produced a whole bunch of hydrogen into the water. And there are thousands of studies, primarily in Japan and Korea, but they are now reaching North America as well, where they're showing that people drinking hydrogen enriched water are aging slower and are having fewer of the illnesses associated with aging with oxidative stress. It's the most universal antioxidant that we have available. All right, so we've been focusing on water for the beginning of this particular episode. And now I think we're gonna be moving into some of the food stuff. And of course, uh, everybody knows that when you get a plate of food, you first thing you do is get the pepper, the second thing you do is you get the salt and you start pouring it all over. And white salt has a bad reputation, probably well-deserved, but we still need salt to live healthy. You know, what's, salt has really been getting the bad rep and and for it's undeserved there's a big difference between refined salt and uh, natural whole salt and it's it's different in uh, in the chemical composition but it's also different in the subtle energetic composition and it's i mean many people you know the scientists who do not believe or understand in that there is actually a subtle aspect to all existence. They will just say, oh, salt is salt, stop being silly. And yet there is a difference. I mean, I, go, go read the um, customer reviews on the Himalayan crystal salt. We'll put the link in here. People who have tried it don't ever want to go back. What's really important is this. When you ingest salt, the sodium, gets stripped or separated from the chloride. The chloride is used in your stomach in the making of the hydrochloric acid. So that gives you the digestive power. And the sodium goes into your pancreas, which then creates the uh, sodium bicarbonate that neutralizes the acidic uh, food as it's leaving the stomach, entering the small intestine. It's a beautiful watchwork, clockwork. I don't know how to describe it, but the body is just magical in how it can utilize this ordinary salt that you'd find in seawater and uses it in the processing of the food you ingest. 
Anyway, Himalayan salt. You need about a quarter teaspoon of it every day or more. I use more. If you want peptic power, if you want to be rid of the bloat in your stomach, the heartburn, the, the inability to digest food, you need to have five things on board. You need to have chlorides, iodine, zinc, vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, and some digestive enzymes, and abundance of electrons. Now, we discussed the electrons in the section about hydrogen. If you have abundance of that, you're in, you're in good shape. So now we talked about salt. You mentioned uh, uh, iodine, which is right. really good for the thyroid. And uh, tell me a little bit about why uh, iodine is so important for our thyroids and other parts. Well, the iodine is actually critically important for all endocrine glands. The iodine is the most important for thyroid. The thyroid takes about two thirds of it, but the iodine is required for all glands. That means your stomach and your digestion, your adrenals and the production of the hormones that keep you resilient against stress and, uh, and the works, all of it. So um, the iodine is found in the mucosal barriers the interface between the uh, hostile outside and the fragile inside. So that means the lining of your nose and your lungs, the lining of your mouth and your digestive system and of the reproductive and the urethra and all of that business. All of those interfaces is where the iodine concentrates. So if you don't have enough iodine, you will have fragile or semi-permeable or overly permeable barriers, which means if it's in the nose, you will catch colds and viral problems and whatnot, and coughs and whatever. If it's in your uh, digestive, you will catch the stomach flu much easier and you will have more permeable bowel. And if it's in the reproductive, especially women suffer with this, they, they get vaginal mm, fragility will be less resilient to whatever traffic happens in there. So the iodine is the antidote to all of these problems that I have just outlined. Cool. So if you find that you've got uh, not as much energy as you want, that you've got a bit of brain fog, you're not thinking as clear as you want. If you, you know, get a paper cut and it takes forever to heal. Uh, if you notice, uh, some odors that maybe you would prefer not to be experiencing. These are all things that iodine could have a positive impact on. Right. In fact, hypothyroidism is one of the most um, underreported and undertreated problems that people experience. It's that the symptoms include cold extremities, especially in the evening, uh, lackluster hair, puffy eyes, especially in the morning, inability to lose weight, inability to conceive, or possibility, higher pos possibility of miscarriages, and low birth weight and low IQ of children, of babies. So, so there's a lot of reasons why you got to make sure you have the right amount of iodine in your system. Right. In fact, getting too much is pretty difficult. Yeah. All right, so next we want to talk about uh, sulfur. Which I right, know. yes. <laughs> Another really important underreported and underappreciated thing. We deliver sulfur in the, uh, in the form of MSM, methyl sulfonyl methane, or methylated sulfur. The sulfur itself is involved in the uh, transport of oxygen across the cellular membrane. So that means this, the mitochondria inside of your cells need to have glucose and need to have oxygen in order to produce energy. So if the oxygen is not efficiently getting across the membrane, it's sort of like having a plugged up air filter in your automobile. You will have fuel, but you will not have power because the conversion of fuel into energy is just not happening. 
And the second part where it's involved is in the methylation that's in your liver, where the phase two liver detoxification involves methylating or neutralizing of many toxic things. So essentially, if there's not enough of the, uh, of the methyl group ions available in the body, you will be more toxic than you would be otherwise and your energetic production again will lag. So I mean, I've, I've talked to so many chronically tired people and we'd recommend the uh, MSM. I remember this one lady writing back to me saying, 20 years of chronic fatigue, three days of three teaspoons of MSM, and I am like as new. Who knew that it could be this simple? There are a few people out there with a genetic anomaly that has them not processing sulfur. So if you are having adverse effects, don't keep pushing, stop. But MSM is right for 99% of the people. Well, and we should say too, that you're not alone in your health journey. So if you're trying something and you're not getting a result or you're getting a result that you don't like, uh, you know, contact Martin. He's our health coach and he'll be able to, uh, you know, assist you and help you and support you in your journey towards health. Let's talk about the next important thing on our list, which is greens. You need to have greens for the following reason. Chlorophyll is nearly identical to hemoglobin. At the center of hemoglobin, there's iron. In the center of chlorophyll, there is uh, magnesium, but otherwise the two are identical. So if you want to have strong blood, get more chlorophyll, the body will sort it out. And the second thing about chlorophyll, it's that it's highly parasympathizing. And parasympathetic is the side of your autonomic nervous system that's rest, repair, and digest. And you need that now because you need to repair the damage that you've done it's the opposite of stress. It's the, it's the repair side. If you don't repair, you only uh, tear down and consume. Repair is really important. So especially in the evening, you should be getting plenty of chlorophyll so that your body is able to shut down the stress cycle and rebuild and repair itself. So consider how you can do that. We have a wonderful product well, a series of wonderful products, but the one that we're highlighting here is called Exela. It's, it's an all-in-one, just a spoonful of this in water or juice goes a long way toward fixing almost universally all of the effects of overindulgent living. Hey, you, you probably have plenty of stories in your, in your uh, quiver uh, about that, huh? Well, everywhere, uh, people are always overindulging. We live in a world of abundance and just seems, you know, too much, too much good stuff and not enough of the basics in order to keep your health. And that's why we're seeing such poor health in so many people at such young ages. It's really sad. Yeah. So take a look in the superfoods section, you know, under supplements, look up superfoods. There are many choices. The XL50 is... The, sort of the entry level, but if you feel like uh, going for something more complex, we have it too. So one of the exotic things that scientists are talking about now is stem cell research and being able to rebuild teeth and rebuild arms. And uh, it just sounds like a total uh, amazing technology. And uh, right. we've, we've got into it as well, I understand. Yeah, yes, of course. Well, there are uh, supplements that can support the release of stem cells. The stem cell works product that we're introducing is based on only three ingredients, but they're critical. Number one, it's the colostrum. The colostrum is that which makes the immune system restore and, and build out of nothing, it's 
its basic building blocks. This is, colostrum is the stuff that uh, mothers transfer to their children in the first three days of lactation. Right? All mammals do this. So the one we have here is extracted from bovine, from cows. And we have it mixed with resveratrol, not just any resveratrol, but a very special, highly effective version. And fucoidin, which is taken out of seaweed. Very much researched and, and proven to be effective substance that helps the body release the stem cells. These are the adult stem cells. A stem cell, by the way, is the precursor to any cell. Like each cell starts as this sort of an embryo, a, a non-specific cell. And then when it gets to the site, the environment helps it become something useful, like a hair cell or skin cell or liver cell or lung cell. The stem cell is the precursor to all of these. So it supports the immune system in rebuilding of, of everything that needs to be rebuilt. This, this product, uh, it's not an instant thing. You need to um, prepare yourself to take 12 sprays of this, six in the morning, six in the evening for 40 days before you can kind of say, hey, this worked for me. Don't expect it to work on the first five minutes. Right. No, uh, no instant gratification here. However, Typical. it will help your body rebuild itself. Cool. So Martin, we've talked about uh, the air around us. We've talked about water. We've talked about getting greens, the different uh, elements that are really important and now high end uh, stem cell research. Uh, if someone's interested in knowing more about the different products or how they can uh, apply them to their specific individual needs, what should they do? Um, Life-enthusiast.com visit there, look up the research. We have lots of references. And if you're not finding what you want, call us. We are at 866-543-3388. I'm there. 24 seven, not quite, 12 hours every day. All right, you're dedicated, Martin. I really appreciate that about you. So, uh, you have now all the tools you need to make a dramatic change in the new year. This is 2020. It's time you uh, had 2020 vision when it came to your health and moving forward. And don't hesitate. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Uh, get started. Start creating good, healthy habits now in the new year to get you through another amazing year. So, uh, Martin, any last words before we sign off for 2019. Welcome to 2020. This is Life Enthusiast. We restore vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>